Hello and welcome back and I'm joined by two special guests with me uh, tonight. I'm going to let you introduce yourselves because my German isn't so good and what you do, but you are from uh, Düsseldorf? Yeah, uh, my name is Peter Feldmann, I'm the media guy, the uh, head of uh, media in uh, Düsseldorf AG, German traditional team, eight times champion, and we're here for, uh, for a sports trip. England is always a good destination for sports and we always want to see uh, uh, hockey and ice hockey in England. And also Andres? Yes, my name is Andre Shahidi. I am uh, working for a um, German newspaper called Rheinische Post. Yep. And I'm writing uh, a lot about hockey in Germany and uh, international hockey. So, so I mean, tell us more about the game. You say Dusseldorf. I had a look at the history. 1934, the team was established. Uh, an old, old ice hockey club. Yeah, it's from 1935. Yep. But the rest can tell free, though. Yeah, yeah uh, a lot of tradition, a lot of fans, a lot of emotions. Eight-time champions. Now we are the fourth position in the league, and our last uh, championship is 1996, uh, too much years ago. So, I mean, I've been to one DEO game, like a lot of people, everybody seems to go to Berlin in the UK. I don't know if it's... Why? <laughs> yeah, why? Uh, um, tell, us, tell us why we should go to Dusseldorf. Uh, well, you should go to Dusseldorf because it's, uh, it's uh, a great city, and uh, yeah, you can have a lot of pints. <laughs> And, Sold. Uh, Done. <laughs> no, no, no. And, and, and you can watch great hockey too. So, uh, yeah, well, Dusseldorf, I mean, I mean, against, Dusseldorf against Cologne is, uh, is a match everyone should watch. Now, we must come to this. Dusseldorf against Cologne is like the big, big derby in Germany. You tell me it's the biggest game in Germany. Uh, it is, yes. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a game with uh, two rival teams, uh, close teams. Uh, and it's the biggest game in, in German hockey. And uh, it's always a lot of fun. And in January we have this winter game in Germany. It's in the football stadium with 50,000 people. I've seen it's like a winter classic outside. Winter, yeah. like, a, like a winter classic. It's for us, it's the second time. The first time three years ago we won against Cologne. And now it's a rematch in Cologne. So they're a big rival of yours, Cologne. And I understand that uh, there was a little bit of tricks that went on in the game recently. Tell us about this. I think Dan has a picture for us. Uh, yeah, we had a, we had a, a, a big joke. Uh, during the last match, uh, we went out with a few guys and uh, put our logo on the bus, on the top of the bus of Cologne, and they didn't mention it. And uh, <laughs> they drove uh, along uh, for a few days. And um, uh, the, the most famous German musician, uh, he helped us with the with the thing, and was uh, th very popular in Germany in all the newspapers and television. It was a big, big joke. So I don't know if you can see that, but that's the Cologne bus and they've stuck the logo on the top of the bus so nobody knew about it for a long time and it was in all the national newspapers and uh, news channels. And the funny thing was that the, uh, that the logo was uh, sold on eBay for 11,000 euro and all the money went to the youth teams of both clubs so it's been a big, big achievement too. That's really very, very good and, a, and a good and a good end to the story as well. I was tackling, talking to, sorry, Declan Barmer was the the player you just met, he's serving his suspension at the moment, but he said this is a good idea and maybe we're going to do this. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm really interested to get your take, your first time watching an elite league hockey game here in the UK. Um, obviously, I, it's fair to say the DEL, DEL the standard is, is higher. It's a very, very good standard. But the game in the UK, I mean, how is it perceived in Germany? Is it perceived as an upcoming league, perhaps? Uh, to be honest, we do not know a lot about British hockey. Uh, we know about some players from Germany or from the German league which are playing in England, but uh, it's not that big in Germany. But we wanted to find out for ourselves uh, what what the level of uh, of the British hockey is. Obviously, we've had uh, the latest news is there was a most successful probably British coach, Paul Thompson. It was the Sheffield Steelers. He now has a coaching job in the DEO. Yeah, it's uh, today in Schwenningen, I think. Yep. Uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, we saw a lot of uh, uh, English hockey in Champions League. Some teams, uh, I think Nottingham and Sheffield and, um, and Cardiff, yeah, and, Cardiff and, and Glasgow. Uh, it's very, very funny. We a lot of funny things about the, the fans and uh, the atmosphere. And it's a great experience. I mean, for pre-season, we had two uh, DEL2 teams. They come here for a pre-season game. Uh, Bad Tots. And I can't remember the other name of the team. <laughs> ah, a lot of teams last year, so Krefeld and, and Nuremberg and Bartol, so the second lead team. Uh, and uh, they all say it's, it's a good destination to play. 
Now, the, the hockey, hockey in Germany, I mean, at the last Olympics, you guys got the silver medal, which was outstanding. I know it was an NHL lockout year, but what did that do for the game in Germany? Uh, it did a lot for the German game. I think it was the biggest achievement of German hockey. And uh, since then, uh, hockey is known a bit different in Germany. It's just a bit bigger. Uh, there are more kids starting to play hockey. It's just more, more, more fans at the arenas. Um, the game has grown because of the silver medal, and that's uh, that's a big thing. And of course, no one could have thought that uh, that Germany would win the medal. Uh, Germany is a football country, and because of that, it's important to to have heroes. And now we have heroes, hockey heroes, and uh, that's very important for our game. Names which are familiar to the general public now, huh? Yeah for everyone and in talk shows and uh, in the newspapers uh, that's important so how come no hockey this weekend in Germany no DEL hockey this weekend uh, no we have a Deutschland Cup Germany Cup it's a it's a cup for four nations okay. and our national national team is playing today okay so anybody watching at home and they want to go to a Düsseldorf game they should go and how do they do they just get tickets online I guess yeah well, we, have, we have a big very big arena Certain thousand people, um, you will get tickets, and otherwise, ask me. <laughs> yeah. well, uh, I want to add, it's my first British hockey game, and it's very amusing to watch. It's uh, it's very offensive. It's very uh, very um, well, many hits, many many. Uh, yeah, we're, we're quite. Uh, the Manchester Storm, we play in a very small ice rink. Yeah, it is. Yes, and uh, most of the other teams, maybe the Olympic size rinks, like you have in Germany. So it's a quite a unique thing about British hockey in that you would go from playing on a Saturday night on a big Olympic pad, and then on Sunday you come here and it's crash bang wallop. We talked about it before the game because we thought this is smaller than it is in Germany. Are these NHL uh, rinks or what is this? Sorry, is this an NHL rink or is it just? It's even smaller, slightly smaller than an NHL rink. It's a. Uh, it's a little bit crazy, but that's that's British hockey. It's a bit quirky, yeah. but uh, no, it's. I think as the teams in the UK are doing better in the Champions Hockey League, the game is starting to perhaps become less North American style and becoming more what you would say classic European. It's a very physical game, but it's fun to watch. Yeah. yeah. Okay, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. We hope you enjoy your rest of the game here, and of course, you're watching some football this weekend and having a complete time, huh? We go to Huddersfield tomorrow and to, I'm sorry, Liverpool on Sunday. <laughs> See, you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. We, we didn't get tickets for uh, Manchester game and so we go to Liverpool. Well, I, I hope you come back again and then uh, I, I think my next trip, not Berlin, I go to Dusseldorf. Promise, promise. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Thank okay. you very much. Okay, thanks guys. We'll take a short break and in a few minutes we'll be back for the second period.